Uh, and then finally, the things that we've done, and, and as we get ready to talk, things that you'd expect. I mean, the question for us really is, when we say recruitment of top students, there's a big range in the students we take. They are the top from their backgrounds. The backgrounds are very different. There's actually, there's been a range of, my God, almost 400 points in the SAT, though the average kid is gonna have math and verbal in the 12s, and in engineering, they're gonna have a solid, they will have a solid math SAT, probably high sixes, early sevens for many. Now, what we've done is to work to help a lot of kids get to that point by working with them from high school on. But these are the, the, the financial support, the bridge program, the values in the program, getting away from the cutthroat idea. I see, I go to campuses, I see one minority student here, one there, they don't work with anybody. And most bright kids in high school will tell you, I don't need anybody. You know, and so the culture is one where they don't get the support. And they certainly, if they get a COD on a test, they're still gonna tell you they're doing okay. They're not gonna tell you the grade. So the culture and the values are such that we, they have reflection on the experiences, particularly on experiences that they're, where they're not doing well. It takes researchers to produce research. It takes engineers to produce engineers. If it's only wonderful staff members helping, it's not gonna work. I mean, to make a difference, I'm looking at one of my graduates, it really does take, it does take uh, faculty who wanna get involved themselves. I mean, who want to understand the issues that they're facing. The idea of mentors of color and others still got to deal with family issues, the person advising, study groups, more important than anything. It's amazing getting them involved in the research and evaluation, what works, and then working from there.